21 Pilots. I'm going to show you the chords and the basic strumming pattern for this song. If you want to play along with the recording and make your guitar sound like a ukulele, you'll need a capo at the 5th fret. I'm going to call out all the frets from the capo. So the chords in order in the verse and the chorus are G, C, E minor, and D. The chords in the bridge in order C, E7, A minor, F minor, and then back to C and G. I'll show you the placement for those chords. For the G chord, place your second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, the third finger on the third fret of the first string, and the first finger on the second fret of the fifth string. The C chord, place your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. For the E minor chord, place your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, the 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string. The D chord, place your 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 1st string, and 3rd finger, 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Now the different chords in the bridge, E7, place your 1st finger on the 1st fret of the 3rd string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. A minor, place your first finger on the first fret of the second string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the third finger on the second fret of the third string. The F minor is a bar chord. Place your third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, the fourth finger on the third fret of the fourth string, and the tip of your first finger, place that on the first fret of the sixth string, and then gently clamp towards the first three strings for your F minor bar chord. Now, the rhythm in the song is a fast 16th note rhythm and it has accents in the middle of the beats. If you need additional work with rhythm, I have on my website at www.edkind.com the complete basic rhythm course for the guitar, which you can start as a beginner and you can learn all kinds of basic rhythms that are used in real songs for real people, including 16th note rhythms that are covered extensively in detailed video instruction. So in this song, the rhythm is really fast. But I'm going to show you in stages how to get to that speed and add the accents in. So first we're going to start with a broad strum across the strings. And we're going to go down, 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 down. That's just half a measure. complete measure. So just keep your arm loose and get a complete swing to start. To make the accent we're going to separate the strings because you really don't have to hit the strings harder if you just separate low pitch to high pitch strings. So taking half of a measure I'm going to strum the rhythm on the accents through the high pitch strings. So the rhythm will sound like this. Down, So you can see when I strum just the first beat, I strum down into the low strings and then down up into the high strings. For the second beat, I strum down up and into the low strings and then down up into the high strings. Here's the second beat. So here are all the beats of a measure placed together with the accents. One, two, three, When you speed that up, that's what gives you the sound of the rhythm that you hear in that song with the accents. So the accents are in the middle of the beats. Now I'm going to play through the order of the chords in the verse and the chorus, which is one and the same, and the bridge. Each chord gets one measure. Start with a G chord. Half a minute. 
now I'm going to go through it one more time, the verse and the choruses and the bridge with the accented rhythm. If you need additional work with chords, you can always contact me for webcam lessons at www.edkind.com.